I've been watching the situation of the Roloff family for a long time regarding the sale of the family farm. And now I see that Karen Chandler for some reason convinces everyone that it was she who pushed Matt to sell the family farmhouse. From my observation, after Matt decided to put the property up for sale, that became the center of tension in the family. This act was done to retire and move to Arizona. However, the idea was more Karen's than his. I know the appraised value of the farm is $2.4 million and Matt originally put the property on the market for $4 million and then took it off the market in October. I assume that Karen played a role in the price choice and influenced Matt to sell the house. Karen seems like a money-hungry person. I can see that something is wrong with this woman and she is with Matt. It's crazy that Amy sold him the house for less than $1 million, assuming it would go to one of her children and Matt was trying to make millions from it, and Karen showed her influence on the situation. After their offer to buy the farm was rejected, Zack and his wife Tori moved to Washington, but there was still tension between them, Matt and Karen. Matt said, A few weeks ago, Zack came to me and said, I'd like to submit an offer. We sat face to face and it didn't go well, there's been some tension between us. Karen meddling in the drama told Matt, Now it seems the decision is made. I didn't need to be in the meeting, but I thought I'd go along. I didn't think there was sides. It was a business transaction and it didn't work out. I was stunned that Karen got involved and was excited about the negative outcome. Things got so bad that Zack and Tori wouldn't let Karen meet their newborn son Josiah. And so amid all the drama, Karen walked away from the long-running series. Matt, of course, really wants another season, but Karen is all wrapped up. She thinks they have too many disagreements about what they want to say and do on the air. She always finds herself in the middle trying to be the middleman. But she doesn't want to be a part of it all anymore. And so Karen plans to move to Arizona permanently early next year. Some might say good riddance. Some might say it all is upset. What would you say, my dear viewers?